Yo, what's going on guys? I was asked uh, a couple of times, many times actually, to make a video on how to install the mouse Excel driver. Now, I delayed this and I'm sorry for you know making you wait so long for me to make a video on how to install it. But basically, um, I'll be just walking through how to install it and how to use it in a way. Or maybe the optimum settings with Mouse Excel 2. You know, for a beginner with Mouse Excel, if you've never used it and you want to try. Now, um, I will leave this link in the description. This is where you don't download the the driver. So, you go into this link, and this whole text will pop up. But you know, I suggest you just not read this unless you want to know a bit more about the master cell driver than you can this is I mean it's pretty good I've read this and you know you can read it too but this this uh, latest test build doesn't seem to work so you can get the mega mirror here and it will just do this blah 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 and then bang you have the driver right here and then you just download it so once you've downloaded it you should get something like this uh, it, it will probably be a raw file. I assume it will be a raw file. So you also need WinRAR. I can leave a link to WinRAR. You'll, you'll, I'll probably already have WinRAR, but you extract it, and then you'll get this, the entire Excel underscore test 2.7. And so basically, what you want to do first is click number one driver. Now, what people seem to get wrong most of the time is instead of installing the driver they install the interception uh, app here so they install this and then they think they have it and I've I know that a lot of people do this because they say it doesn't work and then I show them and then it works so you wanna click driver underscore install it will ask you to open the windows command processor I'm gonna say no because I already have the driver but you install it and then you just press any key, enter, and blah blah blah. After you've installed that, uh, you just restart your PC. And you come back into this folder. You just click application 64 bit, or 32 bit if you're on a laptop, but 64 bit on computer. And then you open the Inter GUI application. Nothing else, the Inter GUI application. And bang, you'll have this. Now one way, so you know it works, just, okay, first of all, I just want you to have my settings like this. Make sure nothing is checked, everything's like this. If your settings look like this, you should have all the boxes available. Now you want all the boxes available. Okay, so now after you know you have my settings, your settings like this, one way to make sure it works is turn your post scale X or Y to 0.1 bang and as you can see I it struggle it's really hard for me to move side to side with my cursor so it affected my mouse movements now I'll put it back to one where it was now I'll try and explain some things as you can see um, there's a lot of options you can do I don't really know what all these do I know you should leave sensitivity on one that's what Kovac said I'm pretty sure I really don't know what this does. Acceleration is, of course, your level of Excel. Now, I have 0 0.034. This seems like a small value, but for mouse Excel, that's a that's a decent value. That's a pretty big value for me, like, who plays Rainbow and CSGO. That's a pretty big value. Now, if you're just getting started with mouse Excel, I recommend you doing something like 15. 0 0.015. 0 0.01, even. Okay. I'm going to go back to 34. Oh. 34 because that's my that I'm used to but this is basically what where you add the Excel value now I have minus 0 0.034 as you see but now sensitivity cap this is not bad some people can use this it basically caps out on how much quicker than your normal sense the Excel can make you turn if if I explained it right so if you have this on 2 it can only be double as quick as your base sense. So if you use, let's say, a 30 centimeter 360, 
if you spin as quick as you can, the Excel cannot make your sensitivity be more than 15 centimeters, if you understand. I have mine on zero, because I like having, I feel like I have more control with it on zero. That's just my preference, though. Now, speed cap. This caps the speed at which you turn. So this is, I think this is a terrible option. I don't know why you would use this. This gives you kind of like a console feel. You know how you cannot, there's a cap when you turn on console, but on PC, you can spin as quick as you want. Yeah, so this, this kind of caps your speeding speed, what, your turning speed, <laughs> or your sensitivity speed, I guess you could say. Yeah. Offset, I'm not quite sure what offset does. I don't play with this. But it says it determines how fast you have to move your mouse before Excel kicks in. So, okay, yeah. So, basically, um, offset would mean if you have, let's say, just free offset. And accept. It will change my graph, as you can see. So, throughout this, this speed or length, Excel won't even happen. Right? So, Excel won't happen throughout this. But as soon as I reach this point, then the Excel will kick in. Right? So the reason I don't have this, I guess, is because I feel more consistent with it just being throughout my whole movements I have Excel in, right? You kind of understand. Power. It says the power of the acceleration curve. So as you can see, 2 is linear and 3 is quadratic. Basically, I like 2 because the games I play are very much linear. You can, If you play something like Quake, Overwatch, you could do 2.5. I'll keep it on two, or you could even do three, four, you know. But I really recommend just having two. I wonder what this does to your graph. Yeah, so as you can see, it changes the curve. So now it's a quadratic curve. If you know what I mean. It's not linear. Okay. Now prescale X and prescale Y. So it's the flat multiply for horizontal movements on top of everything else. It occurs before all the calculations. Yeah, so I this is really hard to explain. I don't know how to explain it even after reading it. I suggest you just leave this at one. But with post scale, see the reason I have post scale y. First of all, I'll explain. You know, your y axis is your is your vertical movement, so it's up and down. So with my up and down movements, I always felt uh, slower than my left and right movements, and I was under flicking a lot. If you know what I mean, I wasn't really. My up and down movements were just slow and, and inconsistent. So doing something like this, which makes my up and down movements 1.423 times quicker than my left and right movements. And I got used to this, so I'm not changing it. But it really made me play better. Now, angle snapping. As you can see, it takes mouse movements that are close to right angles and snaps them to right angles. Now, this isn't, this really isn't good. I feel like it will just mess up your aim in most situations so you should just leave that angle four it's a rotation of initial mouse movement intended for correct intended to correct for oddly placed mouse sensors so this can you know correct uh, your oddly placed mouse sensors apparently I have it on four I just heard four is the best one so so yeah so this is how you use the mouse excel you can copy my settings uh, if you want I use uh, 3.64 um, in in game on source, uh, you can ask me my sense in other games below, and I'll let you know. I play most most FPS games, so if you have any questions for other FPS games, you can just comment. This is how you get the mouse Excel though. Also, one more thing, um, if you want to use mouse Excel, just know that it is not bad. I have another video where I explain my old settings and a little bit of mouse Excel. If you want to watch it, then yeah, you can watch that, but. Quick uh, explanation also, mouse Excel, like I said, isn't bad, it basically um, increases your, how about, how about, how do I say this, uh, it increases or lowers your sensitivity depending on the speed of your mouse. So if you move really slow, it can have even lower sense, so it's pretty good for long distance, right? Because you won't be moving quickly anyway, you'll be moving pretty slow at long distances. But on close range, it kind of increases your sense in a way. But you can easily get used to this. Actually, Claus, a Quake player, used 0.017 mouse Excel, and he was he's one of the best aimers in the world. So mouse Excel is fine, and you know my aim with mouse Excel has gotten better than my normal aim with without Excel. 
I've gotten to love this program so much that I cannot play without it. Like, I mean, I could, but I just can't aim without it. So, yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Now that you know how to install it, um, you guys can try it out. And I recommend anybody trying this out at least once just to see if you like it. And who knows, you might like it. And, yeah, good luck.